when in September 2002, McConnell Dowell was appointed to carry out the construction of a section of the 10 kilometre long sewer pipeline from the Hoxton Park area to the Liverpool sewage treatment plant, it proved to be an extremely challenging project. The limited workspaces we had made things um, difficult. Uh, um, the length of the pipe jacks were, were also challenging um, and, and just generally working in in amongst the public and the Liverpool CBD was, was certainly challenging at times. The sections were part of Sydney Water Corporation's Upper Georges River Wastewater Strategy Project involving the upgrading of Liverpool, Glenfield and Fairfield sewage treatment plants and construction of new gravity sewer pipelines between Hoxton Park and the Liverpool sewage treatment plant at Warwick Farm. The project proved to be extremely challenging in terms of methodology and execution, as open trench construction was not an option given the densely populated location. McConnell Dow decided to utilise diverse trenchless pipe laying technologies, such as state-of-the-art pipe jacking technology, as well as mechanical shield and road header-driven tunnel excavations to achieve the objective. On this project, I think trenchless technology or micro tunneling was the only option available. Uh, that you could get the job done with minimal disruption to uh, the general public and traffic. Well, such a congested uh, area in the city here it would have been nearly impossible with the traffic and the people and safety and the environmental impact would have been enormous. In March 2003, the Lovett's MTS 2000 micro tunnelling system was delivered to McConnell Dowell's construction site in Hoxton Park. The microtunneling system consisted of a mixed-face slurry tunnel boring machine, one main and four intermediate jacking stations, an operational unit with power pack, and a slurry circulation system. The TBM comprised of a mixed-face cutterhead and two trailers. The power capacity of the cutterhead was 200 kilowatts, with a drive torque of 350 kilonewton meters. The main jacking station had a pushing capacity of 850 tonnes, while the TBM steering cylinder force was 1,200 tonnes. The micro-tunnelling machine is a remotely controlled laser-guided um, tunnel boring machine, similar to the, to the larger ones used for um, um, various large hydro tunnels and the like, just a smaller version. Following assembly and meticulous testing in the yard, the two sections were carefully lifted and secured onto a truck with a trailer prior to transportation to the first drive at Hoxton Park Road in early April. One of the difficulties of this project was that the tunnel shafts and activities were located in the middle of densely populated residential areas, which meant that the working areas were very confined and disturbance to residents had to be kept to a minimum. With very little room to manoeuvre, the TBM cutterhead section was lowered into the pit and aligned with the 1,300 tonne hydraulic jacks. Once it was pushed into position, the second trailer of the TBM was lowered into the pit, aligned with the cutter head and joined ready for tunnelling. Then the large 1,600 mm diameter 6.3 tonne Meyer polycrete pipes were lowered into the pit one by one and jacked into the tunnel behind the TBM. Only five single shift working days were needed to complete the drive, achieving an average advance rate of 11.6 metres per day. The next drive began in May 2003 at the Moore Street launching shaft. Again, being so closely positioned to residential housing, McConnell Dowell erected very tall perimeter fencing around the launching shaft and lined the walls with acoustic baffles to minimise the impact of noise on the residents. Having been upsized by fitting a larger outer skin to the TBM to suit the 1800mm diameter 7.5 tonne Meyer polycrete pipes, this drive proved to be the most challenging one of the project. Despite frequently encountering unforeseen underground conditions along the route, such as sticky clays and completely weathered shales, McConnell Dowell was on its way to achieving the longest pipe jacking drive in the Southern Hemisphere in this micro tunneling class. The 666 metre long, 1800 millimetre internal diameter drive was completed in 107 days, achieving an average advance rate of 6.2 metres per day, 
working initially on single shifts and later on double around-the-clock shifts. Representatives of all parties involved in the project, notably Sydney Water Corporation, Walter Construction Group and Diona, as well as representatives from Liverpool Council and local community groups, celebrated the TBM's triumphant breakthrough on September 17, 2003. As the project was situated in the middle of Liverpool's busy commercial centre, McConnelldale had to wait until late at night after the businesses had closed to lift the large TBM sections out of the receiving shaft on Moore Street and load them onto a truck. Once they had been secured, they were transported back to the yard for maintenance prior to the third drive. Next on the list was the 168 metre long, 1800 millimetre internal diameter George Street Drive. This took 18 double shift working days to complete, achieving an average advance rate of 9.3 metres per day. Fully embracing the partnership arrangements in the contract, McConnell Dow developed and put forward a series of innovative approaches to this section of the project, aiming at speeding up the construction process by simultaneously undertaking a series of sequential critical activities. On some of the curved uh, sections where it wasn't possible to use micro tunneling, um, we used a, a road hitter, a, a, a Mitsui road hitter, and um, conventionally hand tunneled through uh, some of the more difficult sections and uh, under the roads. For these operations, CSR 1950mm internal diameter plastic lined reinforced concrete pipes were installed. And once the 1800mm internal diameter pipes were in place, the tunnel void was backfilled with pumpable concrete. The 611 metre long, 1600 millimetre internal diameter Memorial Avenue Drive was the last pipe jacked section to be carried out using the Lovett's MTS 2000 tunnel boring machine. It took 43 days to complete with an average rate of 14.2 metres per day, the best performance of the project. Once the final breakthrough occurred, it was only a few weeks until a short road header tunnel provided the connection between the Memorial Avenue pipe jacked and the open trench laid sections, the completion of a challenging yet highly successful project. The project was uh, very successful right from the beginning and the, the client was very happy and the people of Hoxton Park and Liverpool I think are very pleased with their upgrades. I think the project was very successful. Um, we were able to um, set several micro-tunnelling benchmarks um, and finally we, uh, we were able to deliver a, a timely and um, cost-effective product to our client. The McConnell Dowell Upper Georges River Sewerage Program Micro-Tunnelling Project, setting new industry benchmarks in trenchless pipe-laying technologies and setting a new record in achieving the longest pipe-jacking drive in the Southern Hemisphere.